The main scene in Toto's tomb occupies the full right side of the rock tomb. The humble employees and workers bend their backs in honor of standing in front of their mighty pharaoh. For King Akhenaton is seen relieved in the biggest size on the wall, leaning forward a bit to address his people and distribute gifts and shower them with his blessings. Rays of his god Aton fell over him, with hands holding the Ankh symbol of life, offering it to him. Red and dark blue colors still exist in his painting, and the lines of hieroglyphics displayed in front of him, telling his words on that occasion. The detailed scenes show a lot of activities going on in that festival, when the nobleman are arriving on the back of the horse chariots, and the horseman stands in front of them to hold them and organize their stop. A door takes a tense shape and going through it we see the kitchen section where a baker bakes bread in front of the oven and meals are prepared. Then comes a turn of beverage servants pouring wine and beer. And finally the dressers stand behind Toto who is represented bigger in size than them to help him wear the jewelry which Akhenaton was bestowing over him. The bottom of King Akhenaton's seat have the carving of the nine famous enemies of Egypt, with their hands tied behind them around the center carving of Sematawi, or the symbol of unification between the north and the south. The cartouche of the king is carved in colors, with hieroglyphics in front of it that says, May he be given life. Another grand scene shows Akhenaton under the rays of God Aton, sitting over his cozy chair and cushion, relaxing one arm and with the other receiving news from his vizier or minister. His double cartouches are ahead of him and the hieroglyphics explain the occasion.